Nkwebani adding her lawyers will only be available to represent her from Monday. So an appeal record which was lodged by the DA on Friday, 28th October, consists of over 2,000 pages of reading which will be necessary in the drafting of the required heads of arguments. In addition to all of the above, the team also has to finalize the judicial review application of which you were notified last week. This week was therefore reserved to deal with other pressing matters, especially what we've received and directed by the Chief Justice and necessitated by the rulings of the committee. You might be able to appreciate that it would be impossible to achieve those tasks and simultaneously do any justice to the last minute proposed sittings of the committee which involve the cross-examination of two witnesses. The council team will therefore only be available from the week of the 7th uh, subject to all previous arrangements and requests regarding the duration of the remaining witnesses and the recalling of the witnesses. We're joined now by the ANC's Ola Ngola, who's part of the uh, Section 194 Committee. Good evening to you. Thanks for your time. So firstly, let's just talk about what the status then of this inquiry is uh, as things stand. No, the inquiry uh, is, is having the same state that it had when it started. Uh, remember, we have uh, set a meeting Friday where uh, the public projector was uh, um, given a time to deal with her legal issues or her, her representatives. So until today when we had to resume, and today, uh, Sianejo, Mr. Sianejo from Sianejo Artemis was part of the meeting. So there is no such a thing as an illegal uh, 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 procedure because as, as things stand, there is no court that has declared that uh, we should not continue. Mm. Uh, remember, there is an intention from the legal team of the public protector to launch a, an application in court for the review. But part A of that review is that we must be interdicted. And as things stand, we have not been interdicted. So we have no legal obligation, no legal obligation for us not to proceed. Are so, you are you concerned about what may happen, you know, further down the line, which is that if you continue, um, particularly without the presence of her lawyers, then she may come back and call into question the process, especially when it comes to matters of, of fairness. Yes, we are concerned because uh, we understand the constitutional court order that uh, the public protector must be legally represented. Hence, uh, we have expressed our concern uh, Friday and uh, today that we are concerned with the behavior and we wish that uh, the public protector will be able I'm sorry, to, to resolve the matter uh, uh, quickly. She promised the committee today that uh, she is consulting with her legal team uh, the councils uh, today, late today. So we're hoping that uh, uh, tomorrow we'll be able to get a reasonable explanation. Because as things stand now, uh, the legal team is saying they did not withdraw, then they just must out. So we do need an, 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 an explanation to that. Mm -hmm. And the power protector did uh, bring an explanation with, to, our, to our own wisdom. It was not satisfactory. I mean, that's, that's not how the committee is supposed to proceed. This is a serious national duty that we must all take serious, including her and her legal team, including members of the committee. Given the fact that she says they have other commitments uh, and would probably only be available from next week, what does that mean for the rest of this week? No, we have said the committee is only meeting today and tomorrow. And today and tomorrow there is no cross-examination expected from the legal uh, representatives of the public protect. So there is still time for them to prepare and do their own work. They are a team. Hence, she's not represented by one person. They are a team, so they, they, they easily can share duties among themselves. Mm -hmm. So we, we really do not understand what is the boss who have said that. There must be a concrete explanation of this long period because we are even up back in terms of our program as the committee. So once we have said uh, yesterday there is no committee meeting, today there is going to be committee meeting, Wednesday committee meeting, then Friday and Thursday, including the weekend until next week. 
there is no committee meeting. So there is still time for them to do their, their work outside the, the committee work. So it was, we were not convinced. What, what do you think is really going on with this confusion here? Well, the committee has deliberated on the matter. It expressed the concern. But part of what the committee members have said is that they view what is happening as nothing but a delaying tactic because you can't just walk out, leave your client in an inquiry where you are supposed to have represented her. Now, the concern is that if this continues, we may have to delay uh, the, 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 the inquiry even more. And that's not, what, uh, that's not what the committee wants to do, want to conclude the program, uh, because even the rules of the National mm -hmm. Assembly are, instruct us, are instructing us to conduct the inquiry within reasonable time. So if you've got these delays, you really can't uh, uh, conduct the inquiry within reasonable time. And you'll be prejudicing the public protector, the public, and the parliament as well. So, so from where we are seated, these are nothing but delaying, delaying tactics. It was just an intent to go to court that was brought to us. I mean, th there is no application that has been filed to court until today. We were just briefed that there is an intention to launch a review application in court. So until then, we have no legal obligation to, to, do, to, to halt. Do you think that there are greater mechanisms of accountability that her legal team can be held to, uh, particularly given the fact that they're currently being funded um, by money out of the public protector's office, which is really taxpayer money? Yes, and, and that's uh, one of our bigger, our bigger concerns, because the more we drag, the more public monies are being used unnecessarily. So if, if the committee, we did, uh, uh, was remember uh, Parliament Legal Services in our committee, so we always seek for a legal advice on it. So part of what we, <clears throat> we consider as an option would, would equally to, to, to approach the courts for a declarator uh, to, to force them to come to the proceedings because we really can't continue like this. This, this, this is public money that we're speaking about because they are paid for out of the national fiscals. So we, we, we really can't uh, uh, allow such delaying tactics. And, and we really feel for the public protector because some of the things we believe may not be under her own control. At, at, at which point do you think you may then be forced to take that step? We, we, we have said we're going to allow her to solve uh, this matter herself and uh, continuously brief us as the committee to the chairperson. But if the situation is not improving, we'll be forced to sit down and take a, a resolution as the committee to approach the courts uh, to seek a declarator uh, that they must come and attend, because we can't, uh, we really can't operate like this. All right, let's leave it there for tonight. Ola Ngola, who